It is finally here. So I'm going to give y'all all the details about Credit Academy, tell you exactly what you know you can expect, things that you can look forward to, exactly what's in the program, all of that. Um, so let me just you know do a little intro really quick. My name is Shonda Martin. I am a board certified credit educator. I specialize in teaching individuals how to re repair, rebuild, or just improve their personal credit profiles, whether that's getting, you know, obviously building your credit profile or repairing damage that you've done in the past. It is my specialty. It is my love. I'm pretty good at it, if I do say so myself. I've been, I've been doing it for years. Um, I've been able to help literally thousands of people repair their own credit, um, you know, with the use of either programs that I've had in the past, my educational tools like webinars, or even just my, my DIY templates. Um, a lot of people have been able to improve their credit with, you know, tools from me. And I'm, and I'm super grateful for that, by the way. So shout out to you if you've been a long time follower. Shout out to you if this is your first time here. Like, regardless, shout out to everyone. So the time is now. Credit Academy. Credit Academy. <laughs> it doesn't even seem real. Credit Academy. What is Credit Academy? Okay, so Credit Academy is my membership and the membership is a credit repair program as well as a credit rebuilding or credit building program. What you can expect with the Credit Academy is number one, you are going to be repairing your credit. So if you have bad credit, if you have collections, if you have charge-offs or whatever is going on on your credit profile, we got, I got you, I got you. So you'll be repairing your credit. That's sort of the basis of the program is to repair your credit. But that was not enough for me. I didn't just want to start a membership or a program where I was just telling people how to repair their credit. I've been doing it for years. Um, I understand that repairing your credit is not all that's to building and having a great credit score. So I just couldn't have an incomplete program. I wanted it to be full circle. So not only will you be able to repair your credit, but while you are repairing your credit, you'll also be rebuilding your credit profile, which is basic. That's the main goal when it comes to getting, or, or not the main goal, but, but that's, that's what's going to get you to a great credit score. That's what's going to get you to 700 plus 800 plus 800 plus. Um, so rebuilding is super important. And not only is rebuilding important, it is very important that you are learning during this process. I specialize in teaching about credit before repairing credit, before talking about collections, charge offs, all of that. My, I teach, I educate about credit. I travel around the world educating, um, individuals, schools, banks, real estate firms, or just, you know, any Bob and Joe. I can teach anyone about credit. That's my point, right? So you will be learning during this academy. We'll have, we have an exclusive membership group where, and it's on Facebook. It's a private group. So if you are in my group, um, Road to 750, shout out to y'all, shout out to the credit cousins. Um, I have over, we have over 400,000 family members in that group. And that group is huge. And I love that group. That group is literally how I started my entire career, literally. So it's over 400,000 members in that group. That group rank, that group averages about 2,000 posts a day. I mean, uh, uh, 1,500 posts a day. So it is a lot of people in that group. And as much as I want to help everyone, it's, it's, it's impossible, yeah. It's impossible. Um, so this group will be just a more concentrated group of people so that I'm able to, you know, provide that, that help. If you have a question, if you have, you know, whatever the case may be, I'll be able to touch bases with you. And this, this is our little virtual hangout spot. You know what I mean? So... That's what the group is for. And also I'll be doing credit building training sessions and lives, just Q&A, whatever the case may be. OK, 475. Shout out to you. But yeah, so I'll be able to teach and, and do personalized webinars or, or webinars in that Facebook group. Right. Um, but you will also have access to my software, which is which is Credit Academy. So the software is a software that will import all three of your credit reports, all three, because it's super important that it's all three and it's going to scan every single thing on your credit report, everything on your credit report. And if there is, let's say TransUnion is reporting something different from Equifax or Experian, right? Um, it'll be able to identify that issue, that inconsistency, and then also customize you a letter on how to properly challenge that. And that's the most important part. So basically what it is, is it's factual disputing being automated. Factual disputing, meaning it's able to, like I said, scan your report and, and point out any inconsistency, any error, any inaccuracy, or even if you don't have an, an inconsistency or an error, it'll still give you the best way to challenge all of your derogatory accounts, right? Your inquiries as well. I know y'all was asking about that. Yes, ma'am. There's an answer for everything. 
Not only that, after it generates your letters, you're, it's going to send a copy to your email. And I'll do a live demonstration in just a section, second. It'll demonstrate. I mean, it'll send a copy to your email and then you'll mail that to the credit bureaus. It'll track your progress. This, um, and then the following month is going to check for updates. So did they delete? Did TransUnion delete the account? If they didn't, guess what? It's going to generate you a follow up letter. So it's not just you going to Google and downloading templates or um, just download the templates, hope that it, hoping that it fits your situation. No, it is literally customized based on your credit report. Um, so I'm just so excited, y'all. Um, and then also, oh, shit, I shit, I didn't forget other, I didn't forget other um, benefits because that, that's not even all, y'all. That's not even all. So it also comes with credit monitoring as well. And like I said, I'll be able to go, if you have a question about your credit report, I'll be able to go in the system and then like look at your credit report. You know how y'all come on live and ask me questions? We pretty much be guessing because I'm not able to see and like know everything that's going on. I'll be able to actually see your credit report. So all of that comes along with Credit Academy. Credit Academy is $39.99 a month. Um, like I said, you have credit monitoring, software, group, as well as credit building, right? Um, so it's $39.99 a month. And then if there's no contract, let me just start there. There is no contract. Literally, you can come repair your credit if it takes you two to three rounds to repair your credit. And, and that's all, and you don't want to, you know, continue to build the credit after that, that's fine. It's no, you you are not jailed to it. If you just want to come to repair your credit, you're welcome. You're welcome to come. Um, but like I said, we'll be, I'll be doing, I'll be constantly at, at oh, and also it'll, um, I have, we have a library within the software of letters that I personally designed to challenge things that are outside of your credit report. So let's say you're trying to challenging LexisNexis check system. Let's say you can't get a bank account and you need to clean up your Lexis Lex, <laughs> Lex systems, LexisNexis check systems and all of that. And you don't know how to properly do that. I got you. I got you. Any issue that comes up, let's say the credit bureaus are giving you stall letters. We have a solution for that. So and the library is forever growing. I'll be like always adding letters to there. If, if there's an issue that comes up, something that needs to be addressed, baby, I got you. That's that's the benefit of having a board certified credit educator as your credit coach. Everything is compliant. I should have started with that because y'all know, y'all, if, you, if you're not new here, what is what, what do I always say? What do I always say? I don't, I don't play with anybody with three letters. I don't play with the FBI, the IRS. Who else? <laughs> Uh, and whoever I don't put, so everything I do is ethical. Number one, that that's first and foremost. So you don't got to worry about getting no rinky dinker. No, 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 no. Every single thing I do is compliant. Everything I, everything I do is ethical and everything is crow, crow applying. Right. So you don't got to worry about that. Y'all already knew that though, but I just have to say that for the people who are FCC, all of them, DEA, all of them. So anyways, um, whew, so you guys are here tonight to see who won. So I'll be giving away 20 free memberships to credit or credit credit academy 20 so i'll be drawing 20 names off the wait list and uh you'll get a year free membership to credit academy you'll get a year free so yeah you'll get a year i'm, I'm nervous y'all okay let me um pull it up the the only thing though i'll have to read off the well because they show the email and i don't want to like broadcast people's emails by the way if you're on tiktok or instagram if you want to see the screen um you can come over to my youtube channel which is just uh road to 750. you can come over to the youtube channel and you'll be able to see my screen or yeah i'll read them out regardless and then we'll also post it after the live so that obviously all the winners are notified um if you are chosen um, we, my team will reach out to you. We have your email. So hopefully your email was correct that you entered on the wait list. We'll reach out to all of the winners within the next 48 hours. If you are not chosen and you still want to sign up for Credit Academy, Credit Academy opens tomorrow. Credit Academy opens tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Central. It opens tomorrow, open enrollment to the general public. Now, if you, I mean, to the wait list. If you are not on a wait list, you won't be able to get to sign up for Credit Academy until 1 p.m. 1 p.m. So on a wait list, y'all get it early. Y'all get it early. I've, I've been telling you guys that. Okay. Y'all told to come on so I can see my name. All right. Let me pull it up. And then we'll also do a live, live demo of, you know, what you can expect, like the software, because I want to show you what it does. Um, and then let me see. So it is showing the email. I really hate that it's showing the person's email. So I'll just read the name. 
because I don't want to, it's too many people on this live to be showing people's email share. All right, let's see. Do y'all have any questions? Y'all want to, y'all want to, y'all do, should I pick one name one by one? Should I go one by one or should I just generate a full list of 20 names? Which one should I do? Because uh, either way, we still have so much more to talk about, but I know this is what most of y'all came for. <laughs> what should I do, y'all? One by one? Okay. But look, I do want to do a pop quiz. So I know I said I was going to give away 20 memberships, right? But I'm thinking I'm going to give away five more by just doing a pop quiz and seeing who, 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 who can answer these certain questions. It may be about credit. It may be about road to 750. It, it, I don't know. It, it may be about the Facebook group. So I'm not going to tell y'all what it would be about. It's literally random. I didn't even write these down. I just thought about that. So if you've been a day one, you might be able to get it. And then I'll ask some questions. You know, I'll ask questions. So everyone has a chance. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do one by one. They said, let me see. It's going to, it's loading, but it's taking forever because there's so many dang on names. All right. Okay. So the first winner of Credit Academy one year free membership is Katania. K Y T A I N A. Katania? It's Katania. Y'all know I'm slow as hell. Because why would I say Katania? It's Katania. Tanya, where you at? You in here? Hold on, let me check the YouTube comments. The Facebook comments. I got my tea, y'all. Period. Oh, you in here! Congrats! Congrats. So we'll, I have your email. We'll reach out to you within the next 48 hours, sis. Okay? We got you. All right. So the next, the, the second winner for Credit, Credit Academy Valisha, Valisha with a V. It shows their email, so I don't want to show people's emails. That's why I'm not showing it. But I have a, I, I'm screenshotting every name, and then we're gonna post them. Valisha, no, but Tom, look, Venetia gonna comment talking about. Did you say Venetia? No, sis, I said Valisha. I said Valisha, and you knew that. <laughs> oh, she and her too. Damn. Okay. Period. Let's keep going. Oh, I know this person. This person is always okay. Uly, Ulyss, Ulyss, Y U L I S S. I, that name is familiar. I really like that name. I, I remember paying attention to that name one day. Ulyss, you are the third winner. Yeah, I'm screenshotting it. <laughs> yes. All right, what are we on? Four? Four. Naobi. 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 N Y O B I. Naobi, congratulations. You are the. Y'all got to help me keep up. What, what number are we on? We on four, right? We on four. Naobi. N Y O B I. We on four. Okay, so Naobi was the fourth one. Let me screenshot. Yeah. Okay, so Niobe, you are the fourth winner. So the fifth winner of Credit Academy's free membership is Yeah, we we'll, I can take a question a question at the five. Kamisha. K I M M E S H A. Kamisha. No, it only showed the first name, but it does show the email. So I'll the person will know regardless if so if it's more than um one person with that name the email is still attached to the name so don't worry yeah kim k-i-m-m-e-s-h-a oh period she in the youtube comments hey congratulations congratulations sis i see you on the other side other side means you know the clubhouse the the facebook group okay so the six six is giving six so we on six we on five. Okay, yeah. So the sixth winner is Nosha. N O S H A. Nosha. Congratulations, Nosha. Yeah. Okay. So look. So we're at six. So quick question. Quick question. 
how many years does a I gotta make this hard because first of all, I've been I've been teaching credit too long. Y'all gonna get these. So I'm gonna see who really been paying attention. Let's say you have student, a person has a student loan on their credit report. That student loan is still being the, the student loan is on deferment. So you have a deferred student loan on your credit report. Everybody with me? It's it's in deferment. When is that account going to automatically delete? or erase off that person's credit report from today's day. A deferred student loan. Period. Somebody got it. Because everybody's talking about 10. Somebody said, set, a lot of people said 7, 10, 3. No, no, no. Hold on. I got to go back because I just seen it. No. No. Oh, shit. That one don't count because the per a person really did that. So the answer is, if it's deferred, that means it is still open. An open account does not have an expiration date on your credit report. So for everyone who was given an expiration date, sorry, y'all. That ain't it. That ain't it. If it's open, it's no expiration date. That's why student loans be on our credit reports for 30 fucking years. <laughs> for 30 years. They're never going anywhere. They're and let We ain't going to get into that. Um... Okay, but I'm gonna do another one. But so now y'all see, now y'all see how I'm coming with the questions. I want it to be like a trick question. I'm gonna I'm draw another name because I gotta think of one. The seventh winner to shine. Hold on, sis. Let me get one more time. To Sheena. To Sheena. T O S H I. Excuse me. N A E. Tasha Nay. Tasha Nay. Tasha Nay. Tasha Nay. You are the seventh winner. You are the seventh winner. Okay. What year did I open the Road to 750 Facebook group? Who know? Who know? Who know? I see 2019. Hold on, hold on. Wait, where do YouTube uh... Oh, okay. Tommy Nicole speaks. You are the winner. We you don't you don't you ain't an account, but you are the winner. I just pinned your comment on YouTube. T uh Tammy Nicole speaks 2017. Um, let me screenshot that because I don't have your email, sis, but I I'm gonna get in touch with you. I promise. I just screenshot your name. Okay. So let's do another drawing. The eighth winner is Steffi, S-T-E-F-F-I. Congratulations, Steffi. It's all, it's all women. Where are my brothers at? Where, where are my brothers at? Because the girls are overruling. And I know I have a predominant, predominantly a woman, female-based following, woman-based following. So I just want to see if I have any of my brothers in the house right now. Got to show some love to y'all. Okay, y'all here. All right. So the first person I did see, the first person I did see was Nathan Robinson. You won just on GP, just because you're here with me. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um. Okay. So let's do another um drawing. Yeah. Hold on. Dang, I didn't even screenshot your name. Hold on. Let me screenshot your name. How you screenshot on the iPad, child? Okay. All right. I got you. Okay. All right. So the ninth drawer, the ninth winner is Chaniki. Chaniki. So C H E E N E K I E. Chaniki. You won. We on nine, y'all. <laughs> she said she said I got a brother his name <laughs> okay let's do another question oh, let me see let me see what's a good question what's a good question oh let me uh, screenshot that what's a good question hmm. let me draw one more I gotta think I gotta think on it I gotta think on it okay so the 10th winner lucky number 10 lucky number 10 is Sayane S-I-A-N-E-H Sayane 
That's beautiful. Cyanay? Cyanay. Cyanay or Cyanay. I like them. I like either one. I know. It, I, it really is picking all unique names. I love it. Got me over here struggling, though, but I love it. Cyanay. I feel like that's Cyanay. S-I-A-N-E-H. You are the 10th winner. 10th winner. Congrats. Congrats. Okay, a question um, about the credit report. Okay. Hmm. How long does it typically take for a account, a past due account to be charged off? Typically, on average, typically. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm looking at all three because I'm on three different lives. Four. Seven years? No. 90 days? No. Uh, da, da, da. Five years? Six months? Okay. Um, I'm going to pin yours. Cassie on YouTube, she said six months. Before it's charged off. I ain't say deleted. I said before it's charged off. If you are, if you are late... If you are already, you know, in, in um, if the account is already in the negative, is late at least thirty days. Typically, takes on average a company uh, about one hundred and eighty days before they'll like officially charge it off. Now, obviously, it'll 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 vary, but typically one hundred and eighty. I don't know though, y'all. I'm not gonna hold. You. They used to be like that, but I've lately I've been noticing that they've been charging off accounts sooner than that. They've been charging off accounts. They I be seeing. 120 day late and then the following month because a, comp a, a, a company reserves the right to charge it off at any moment if you late you could be 30 days late if they assholes they, they can charge it off probably won't happen after 30 but still all right so the ne the next what are we on 11 are we on 11 excuse me i work in finance i know why they do that Fill us in since you're talking about like tax wise, or is there a reason why they just started doing it more? Is that what you're saying? Let me know. Give me the T. You know, I need to know the T. Oh, we on 11. Okay. So the 11th winner is Policia. Yeah. Pol Policia. Policia. P A U L I C I A. Policia. Policia. Felicia, number 11. You are the 11 winner. Congrats. Um, okay, another question. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I don't, I can, let me do another because I can't think. Let me see. Hmm. See, yeah. Okay, I just did another draw. So the 12th winner is Alamide. O-L-A-M-I-D-E. Alamide. You are the 12th winner. Congrats. I wish I could have music right now, y'all. But I can't because freaking YouTube and Instagram. Instagram going to kick me off. Yes, Alamide. Congrats. So let me, I'm trying to think of a question. That's really why I'm, I'm, I'm in my head right now. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Yeah, they have they have emails attached to them. They have emails attached to them. Now, if the person don't answer, then I mean, hey, if they, they just put in a, you know, a spam name, I can't do nothing about that. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can't think. I should have thought of this earlier. All right, so the... The 13th, 13th winner, the 13th winner of this, draw, I mean, of the membership is, come on, why is it taking this so long to load this time? Yeah, that, I think that is Nigerian. Zena! Zena, I feel like that name is familiar. Zena, are you on her? You are the third, oh, 12th, oh, my bad, my bad. Wait, so, see, some people come in 12, some people come in 13. Zena, let me uh, uh screenshot your name. Oh, you on TikTok? Wait, I just seen. 
Then I just see you. Then I just see you, sis. Zena, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. There you go. Let me. Even though I got. Oh shit. I, even though I have your email, let me screenshot your username. Congrats. 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 Okay. Um. Hmm. Let me get a drink of water. Um. If I want to make it hard, you know what? I ain't gonna make this hard. This is just gonna let me know if you've been listening or not. Let's say I'm applying for a car next month. It's it's what February, and let's say I want to apply for a car by the end of March. What is the recommended or suggested? What utilization should I make sure that I pay my credit card down to if I want to buy a car next month? What utilization should I be aiming for? Damn, see, all y'all got that. But the first person, I'm not going to cap, the first person I did see was the secret sauce. S-O-S-S. Did I just put you on the screen? I just seen you. But that was easy, low key, because y'all know. one. So between 1% and 3%. 1% and 3%. I know, that was that was easy. That was easy. Okay, we'll do, a, we'll do the 14th, the 14th winner. The 14th winner is Margo. What's your name? Hold on, because that's a common name. Let me look at her date. Margo D. Margo D, I'm guessing because your email got Margo D in it. Margo D, M-A-R-G-O-D. D, D. Congrats. There were a lot of wrong responses on the last one. Yeah, but the 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 answer was one, two, three percent. All right, let's see. The fifteenth winner. I first of all, Jazz the entrepreneur. Here she go. IG, you might as well stop commenting because she definitely not looking over here. Sis, you won. I, you won just because you won, sis. You. you 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 got a membership because I wasn't I didn't look I did I did I didn't look I didn't look you got you got me there so you you got a free membership just on GP like wait wait where your name at though come on comment so I can screenshot your name all right so then what we on y'all no you don't got to talk to you right I shouldn't have rewarded bad behavior hell no yeah I know y'all you ain't gonna no 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 let's let's relax relax no you right I shouldn't <laughs> but no she was coming, and the reason why I did that because I do think she she did say the answer. So whatever. So the fifteenth winner, yeah. But look, this is what I'm gonna do though. So because just because just so we can make it fair, I am going to give away. I'm a I'm gonna give away two more per platform. So I'm gonna go on you. I'm gonna go on Instagram. I'm gonna go on. I mean, I'm gonna go on TikTok. I'm gonna go on Instagram and YouTube. Just so people can't say you weren't looking at this screen because I only got two eyes, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna after we're done, I'm gonna pick two from each platform. Two, my team gonna be like, girl, what the fuck? We we agreed on twenty. <laughs> okay, so the fifteenth winner is no Facebook and YouTube is together, y'all. I see it, I promise. So when I say YouTube, I'm really talking to Facebook and YouTube because I'm I'm on this I'm on yeah, Catalina, Catalina Z. Z, Catalina Z. Catalina Z. All right, let me just hurry up and get the drawing over with y'all so then, so I can stop having to pay attention to this and we can, you know, we can talk, we can kick it, you know. All right, so the 16th winner is Zylena. Uh, X-Y-L-I-N-A. My mouth getting dry as hell, y'all. All right, yeah, let's get this over with so I, so I can talk to y'all. And then we can talk more about the program. I can show y'all. What are we on, 17? Yeah, Zylena. All right, so the, the 17th, I think, 17th? The 17th winner is Shira. Shira C. S-H-Y-R-A. Uh, Shira C. Screenshot. Shira C. 
listen, it's a it's a computer it's computer generated. So you put all the names, you well, you really upload a CSV file and they literally pick the names randomly. Literally. I think I know this person. So the 18th, 18th winner is Tamaja. T-A-M-A-D-J-A. -A -A. Your name looks familiar. Your name looks familiar. So I, I think you in here. I think you in here. Let me screenshot it. Congrats. You are the 18th winner. And then the 19th winner is Casa. C-A-S-S-A. Casa. <laughs> um, oh, that's you the 17th winner. Congrats. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, all right, so so the eight the 18th. Damn, why I keep why I keep messing up every time? The 18th winner is Rochelle. R-O-C-H-E-L-L. -L. R O C H E L L. Screenshot. All right, and then we on the last one. The 19th. Are we on the last one? Child, because I what we on 19. Yeah. So the 19th winner is Syra. Syra. C Y E R R A. Sierra. 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 You are the 19th winner. And then the last winner by way of just the random drawing, because we still have, we still have, you still have a chance to win. So the last winner by way of the generator is, come on, come on, come on, Takesha, T-E-K-E-S-H-E-I-A, Takesha, Takesha, are you in here? <laughs> Takesha. All right, let me, I'm making sure I got all the names before I exit out. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me exit out of here. All right, so congratulations to all the winners. One second, congratulations to all of the winners. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for even showing any interest in anything that I have going on that don't ever think that that ever gets lost upon me. Like I'm super, super grateful. So thank you so much for supporting me. Welcome to the Credit Academy. I hope you are ready to learn. I don't play when it comes to credit. Y'all know I don't play when it comes to credit. So we can joke, we can kick it and all of that on live. We can have wine some night. But baby, when it comes to learning, we business will be done. Business will be attended to. OK, business will be attended to. OK, so anyways, now we about to uh, what, what I want to do a random we can do. We can do the questions or we can do the live demo. Hmm, what y'all want to do? What y'all want to do, 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 do? Random demo. Okay. Let's do, let's talk about it real quick, y'all. And then we, we'll, get, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Yes, let's go. Right, and by the way, if you're on TikTok, TikTok or Instagram, um, to be able to see the live demo and see my screen, you'll have to come over to the YouTube, which is Shonda Martin, or you can just search Roll to 750. The video should be at the top because obviously I'm live right now. So come over and we are about to get into it. So let me, let me disclaimer, this is a actual person's profile guys. So there's only so much that I can show, you know, obviously because I have to protect their identity. So I'll talk you through it, but there, it's a reason why I'm like not showing certain things. This is the actual person. I wanted a real credit report and I want to show you exactly how the system works. So this person obviously already signed up, loaded their credit report. Um, and oh, I thought my screen was showing. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me let me pull up my screen. Share. All right, YouTube, do you see that? In in uh Facebook. Uh, let me let me uh, zoom in because child, I ain't got time to show nothing. All right, so what I'm doing right now, so when you sign up um, for Credit Academy, hold on, y'all, I'm gonna zoom in. I know y'all said y'all can't see, but I this is the I want to say this is the largest that it, it can get. Let me see. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. That's the largest that it can get. It's not getting any bigger, so. Um, hold on, let me. Okay, I was wrong. It got a little bigger. It got a little bigger. Okay, so let me take off this. All right, so when you first enter the system and you you it'll prompt you to you know load your credit report reports after you load all of your all three of your credit reports it's going to scan them and then obviously search like i said for any inaccuracies any inconsistencies or anything so what you do is you'll put create dispute letter oh shit it's showing now hold on y'all it's showing hold on i gotta sign now i want y'all to see my password child all right so hold on it's loading Hold on, guys. I will sign in too long. So sign me out. This long A password. Let me to my links. One second. All right, now we back. Now we are back. All right, so when you click this, hold on. When you, come on. Yes, it's loading, guys. It's loading on YouTube. Here it comes. It's going to pop back up. All right. All right, so you press. Y'all, this this one this one don't do all this window sharing stuff on live. Chow, it's too many screens, but it's cool. Okay, we bet. All right, so you press create dispute letter, and then once it scans your credit report, it's going to bring up a list of all of your negative items, and it'll tell you you know what it found. So you will click. Oh, if I click this, I think it's gonna show. Okay. So you will click this. Oh, it's showing me the kind of. So you will click suggested, and then after you do that, what will happen is you it'll populate. I want to show the email, so I'm just gonna show y'all the letter. Give me one moment. So basically, what was wrong with this particular item that I chose? Okay, so what was what it what the system pointed out was this account is incorrectly being reported as a charged off account with a balance due. Um, please provide proof. So it, le it literally told you what was wrong with this report. And because it, it identified a charge off that was incorrectly reporting, it identified that. So you would generate the letter. You would generate the letter and I'll put it back up soon as soon as I exit out of her info. And here it goes. So then it will send a copy to your email. You it'll already include your ID and everything that you need to, you know, send the letter to the credit bureau. So all you have to do is drop it in an envelope, put a stamp on it and mail it to the to the credit bureaus. Once you get your letter, I mean, not once you get your letter, once you send your letter, you then have to obviously let the system know that you mailed it. Okay? And then is going to create a time a, a countdown. So the credit bureaus do have a legal limit on how long that they can take to investigate an item. It'll have a countdown, right? And if you receive your mail prior to the countdown, if it comes in two weeks or a week, because they get technically 30 uh, business days. But if you receive your letter, let's say within two weeks, then you will come back in the system to you know let the system know that you got your letter. So it can, um, once you receive your next update, it'll see if what the credit bureaus did to change it. So if, did they delete it? Did they update it? Did, you know, what, what, what changed on your credit report? And if it was not deleted, so if the item was deleted, it'll obviously not generate you a round two letter. If the item was not deleted, it'll then give you another dispute reason to challenge it. Because the thing is where people go wrong when they're trying to repair their own credit is 
they don't know how to really follow a credit repair process properly. They're just sending random letters hoping like one stick. But it's a process. It, all letters should in some way coincide with one another. Like it should be an entire process. And you cannot dispute the same thing twice or the, bu the bureaus will mark you like they'll 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 continue to mark you frivolous and then they'll just send you like those stall letters right and then you won't be getting anywhere in your credit repair journey you'll just be sending letters um so then it'll give you another dispute reason because you don't want to like i said continue to challenge the same thing and then rinse and repeat right um also let me pull it back up let me pull it see i hate that i have to i wanted to show y'all a, a real person because i didn't want like a dummy account but I wanted to show you guys a real person. The problem with that is a real person, you know, have real information. So I'm going to go to where the, where it's not showing anything. And, okay. So that's the repair part, uh, part right? And then you should, we are, you're going to be rebuilding your credit profile at the same time. So if let's say you don't have a credit card, then the goal in the group and, and, you know, throughout the teachings is trying to identify like which credit card should you apply for, or, you know, wh what account should you add to your credit report, whether that's, let's say you need, maybe you're lacking a loan in installment. You only have revolving trade lines or vice versa. Um, you'll be able to know how to properly build your credit report instead of just adding like random accounts, hoping your credit report you know, credit improves, credit increases, hope in some, some shape, you know, it's no guessing in it because you'll actually be learning how to build from ground zero, or let's say you just filed bankruptcy or just, you know, messed up your credit. You'll learn how to build it properly, properly. Um, let me see. I don't want to take out any debt. Credit is debt. Credit is debt. There's no way to build credit without accumulating some sort of debt. Now, how much debt you accumulate is going to depend on, you know, the route that you take. But credit is debt. I mean, credit is debt. Credit is your ability to borrow money. Borrowing money is debt. Now, there is negative debt and there's positive debt. If you purchase a home, that's debt. You know, even though you're paying a mortgage and you're investing and it could potentially turn into um, an asset, it's still debt. You have if you have an, out, an outstanding loan, it's debt. So I mean, there's no way to get around that. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to hold you. Like it's just no way to get around that. You have to, either you know, you're going to have to take out a revolving trade line, which is a credit card. You also have to take out some sort of installment if you want, you know, the best possible credit profile. A credit card, yeah, a credit card is debt. Every time you swipe your credit card, technically speaking, it's debt until you satisfy that balance. So. But here's the thing, when you, if you build your credit, if you, if you build your credit, then the less it's going to cost you to borrow said money. And that's, that's all that it boils down to, you know, because you can purchase a car and you can have a 28% interest rate, or you can purchase a car and you can have a 1% interest rate, right? Like there are hundreds and thousands, well, thousands of dollars of difference between the interest rates that, that, that you receive. So how expensive is it going to be for you to be, for you to accumulate said debt? Your, it depends on your credit. So everybody got a credit score. Everyone, everyone has a credit score. There's going to be some point in your life that you're going to have to deal with your credit as an adult in the United States. We, we live, we, it's, it's our, our country is a company. You're going, you're going to have to, you're going to have to use that credit in some form or fashion at some point. So you might as well make sure that your credit profile is in a position so that it, that, credit, that debt is not going to cost you too much. That debt is not going to cost you too much. Um, let me see. No, I, so yeah. So then I'll be, I will we'll be, I, it'll, within the, the, the software, there's a section for webinars. So like I said, we'll have the lives and all of that, but it'll be actual webinars, like, you know, teaching you. So you'll get free webinars within the membership as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still picking people. So I'm going to pick two people on each platform. And then I'm going to ask you some random questions. Some, um, yeah, so it launches, you any the gen, it opens to the general public tomorrow at noon. But the wait list will receive access to it earlier earlier yes all right so let's let's do y'all want to do instagram first instagram since y'all said i'm not paying attention to y'all so i'm gonna pick two people from instagram what should the questions be tiktok and youtube help me so we're just gonna deal with instagram right now okay 
So the question is, hmm, on Instagram, I wanted to pertain to something, something I know I posted on Instagram. Hmm. Tell me how long would it take your credit profile to recover after you get a charge, you get a, you get a charge off. How long is it going to take your profile to recover? Assuming that, you know, you are not getting any more late payments or derogatories. How long typically does it take your credit profile to bounce back? after you have gotten a charge off and bounce back meaning like you are back at or close to the level that you were before and it doesn't even have to be score wise score wise profile wise all right so just instagram so okay someone said 24 months two ooh, shoot, two years three years all right so the first winner is shoot why did the comments keep moving like that who was the first i want to make sure i get the first Call me Tati. Let me screenshot um, your name. I, I don't, how, how you be? Hold on. Okay. You won. Yeah, so I'm, no, no, no. I didn't say deleted. Y'all keep thinking I said deleted. Y'all ain't listening. But yeah, so for the people who saying seven years, no, 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 not deleted. I'm saying to recover. So if you get a charge off, um, it typically takes 18 to 24 months to kind of like recover. Rather your score recovers sooner. Um, anytime you apply for any credit cards or anything after that, that charge off is going to have a major impact for the next two years. So regardless of, like I said, how great you're, you can have a 750 credit score and just recently got a charge off and your, your score will show a 750, but your credit profile, you don't, you don't, you don't truly hold the borrower worthiness of a 750. So, and that's because of that charge off. So, yep. About two years. Okay. So another question for, I, well, I, I I'll do YouTube now. I'll do YouTube. Yes, I'm going to each platform. Yeah, hold on. Relax, relax. I said each platform. All right, so YouTube. This is a hard one. YouTube is going to be hard because I put whole ass webinars on there for free. So I have to make YouTube hard because yeah, I give y'all full two hour plus webinars for free. So YouTube, hmm. Tell me, tell me. What third party reports should I pull if I cannot get a bank account? Should I pull and try to clean up if I cannot open a bank account? What third party reporting agencies supply the information to all of the banks and it can potentially prevent me or it is preventing you from opening or me from opening a bank account? And I said, name all of them, not just one. You know what? No, name three of them. Name three of them because y'all just put in one. I'll, I'll make it easy. Name three of them. Three of the major ones because there are more, but three three of the major ones that you need to pull if you cannot open a bank account. Okay. I see uh, Lexis Nexus. Okay, that's one of them, but I said the first person who comments at least three. And this is just YouTube, y'all. All right. So let me pull. Okay. No, hold on. Shit. No, no, no. All right, Heath Shelton on YouTube, let me screenshot. He said, LexisNexis, check systems and early warning system. That's correct, but wait, because now that I think about it, now that I think about it, oh, LexisNexis is a cheat. Name, give me one more Heath right now, I'm gonna give you a chance. Give me one more that particular, specifically uh, deals with banks. Because LexisNexis is a cheat, because that's, that's an answer for everyone. So give me three third-party reporting agencies that specifically deal with financial institutions, banks. Um, Heath, I'm gonna give you one more chance to answer because I don't want it because I did click on your name. But let me search for the next person. Somebody said, "Oh yeah, why y'all not getting that third one? Y'all are not getting the third one. Y'all are all saying the same thing. I have not seen any. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just seen it. I just seen it. No." Yeah, this is just for YouTube. I know I'm not looking at um, TikTok. Hold on. All right. So the answer is, the answer is check systems, early warning systems, and strategy.
Those are the three main ones that you should pull and clean if you can't open a bank account. Surgery, right. Okay. So then let's do let's do Facebook. Let's do Facebook. Facebook. I'm I'm on y'all ass more than YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, because y'all, y'all got y'all got everything. Y'all got everything on Facebook. So y'all question has to be hard. Hmm. You know what? I gotta come back to Facebook. I'm so sorry. I, Cause I don't have a question hard enough. Let me go to TikTok. TikTok, y'all yeah, get bite-sized com like content. So I'm really not gonna hold you guys to the fire like I am Facebook and YouTube. Cause y'all yeah, get yeah, the most y'all gonna get is three three minutes. You know, you, you can only do but so much in three minutes. But hmm. This video went this video went viral on my TikTok page three times. So I promise you, I I feel like y'all should know this. The first person that can tell me how many points, how many exact points is credit age worth? How many points does credit age affect within your entire credit profile? Exact, and it has to be exact. How many points? Not the percentage, not not what's the not not the percentage. Is that too hard, y'all? I kind of feel like it was now because ain't nobody getting it. So I feel guilty. I feel guilty. But let me oh, oh, somebody just got it. Somebody just got it. Ken, let me oh shit. Let me screenshot. Hold on. Kendra C92. Kendra C92. She her aunt, come on, move, move, move. Kendra C92, 82.5 points. <laughs> Even saying it out loud, I'll, wait, that, that might have been too hard. Was that too hard? <laughs> that question was harder than YouTube's. You're right. You're right. You posed a great point. You posed a great point because that was. It was very specific. But that video did go viral on TikTok twice. So I. But yes, congratulations, Kendra. I screenshot your profile. I'll uh, message you after. I'll message you after within the next 48 hours. All right. That was hard. Okay. Next time I'm going to give y'all an easy one then. I'm going to, because I'm going to do another round. Back to YouTube. Oh, no, no, no. I do got to do YouTube. Okay. YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Here's your question. The first person that can tell me the answer to this next question from Facebook specifically. We'll win a free membership. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. Facebook. If I if I received, if I go check my mail tomorrow, if I go check my mailbox tomorrow and I have a letter from a collection agency and they're telling me that they have a debt that they believe is mine, right? What should I do? What should my next step be? Like the exact thing that I, that you should do. What should your response be to that? What should your response be? Like, you can't just say, so, yeah, no, like what exactly should you do? I don't want to give y'all no hints. That's why I'm kind of like beating around it. Y'all just saying respond, but respond with what? With what? You didn't, nah, you're not getting off that easy. What should you respond with or how should you respond? Okay, wait, wait, wait. It has to be from Facebook, y'all. Hmm. Marcus Williams. A debt validation letter. And then look, I'm, I'm going to give y'all another one. Because Facebook, one thing about my Facebook group, that's... that's. So y'all get a bonus. Y'all get a bonus. Piggy and back off that last question, how many days do you have to respond to, to send your debt validation letter? How many days? How many days? Thirty, Christian, Christian. Oh no, you was from YouTube. I, I, I'm sorry. I said Facebook. I'm sorry. Wait, I got, I got to pick Facebook. So I got to give y'all a different one. Shit. You was from YouTube. That was specifically for Facebook. Facebook got easy stuff. Okay, hold on. Let me do Instagram. A question for Instagram. If you, the first person to answer this next question will win a free membership to the Credit Academy. Hmm. These are all off the dome too, y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to think. Y'all too smart. Y'all be paying attention. 
That makes me feel better. I don't be thinking y'all be paying attention, but y'all be paying attention. So hold on, let me see. The next person who can answer this question. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm trying to see if I should keep it towards charge-offs or collections or late payment. Hmm, let me see. Um, hmm. I can't think of nothing hard. <laughs> they said <laughs> Instagram slow, so keep it. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Instagram. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. How many total points do you have to gain on your profile? Like how many total points make up your entire credit profile? Like how many can you touch? How many do you have access to? What's the max? This is kind of a trick question though, now that I think about it. Somebody on YouTube got it, but I'm not gonna, this is for Instagram. Did I, I feel like I asked that question wrong though. No, I didn't, because y'all didn't listen. Y'all didn't listen. That, that was low key a trick question, though. I'm not gonna hold you. But hold on for Instagram. No one got it yet. No. That was hard. Did I ask it wrong, child? Because ain't nobody get it. You know, if the whole class flunk, at that point, it's the teacher. You know, we should be looking at the teacher. So did I ask the question wrong? Because no one is getting it. No one is getting it. Y'all all saying 850. Y'all all saying 850. That's the that's the maximum credit score. But I said the question, everyone is saying 850, but that's that's the max credit score. The question was how many total points make up your credit profile? Okay, uh, who is this? Die my pain 9x on IG. He said 550 points. Instagram keep breaking up, y'all. 550 points. We, you only can touch 550 point, points technically because they give you three. They give you three. I mean, your credit profile is only made up of 550 points because you, it, you by default, you're going to get 300 points. You, your credit score cannot go lower than 300. You can have, you can file bankruptcy, have 10 collections, 30 repos, and your score will still not go under 300. They give you 300 points. So the reason why I said how many total points make up your credit profile, because your credit profile is distributed into five separate categories. What are those five separate categories? What are those five separate categories and how much is each category worth? And anyone can answer this on any platform and you will win since that's a hard one. That's that's a hard one because you got to tell me how many total, um, you got you to gotta tell me how many total sections are in your credit report, I mean, on within your credit profile and how many total points is each section worth? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. So I'm going to like literally anyone can win it. But someone someone on Facebook did get it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shit. But your name just a Facebook user. <laughs> it's just a Facebook user. Child. I don't know who I don't, I don't know your name. Hmm. So I might have to pick somebody else because I feel bad, though, because you did get it first. Yes. So payment history is is payment history is worth one hundred and ninety two point five points. Credit utilization is worth 165 points. Credit age is worth 82.5 points. Hard increase are worth 55 points. And then um, credit mix is worth 55 points. So payment, payment history, credit utilization, credit age, hard increase, and, and credit mix. Those are the five things that make up your total credit profile and your total credit score. Um, I know that was a lot to type. That was a lot to type. That's why that was just like a little bonus. Okay, what platform am I on? I think I'm on TikTok. All right, so the first person on TikTok that can answer. I cannot, why am I not thinking? Okay, the first person on TikTok that can answer the next question will win a uh, um, free membership. So the question is, hmm, is something that I would have had to teach on TikTok because that wouldn't be fair to you guys. So let me think of. Okay, I got it. Mm. Shit, no, that's not fair. I'm on all platforms, let's go. Okay, so shit, it doesn't have, okay, it, it, it's not something that I necessarily posted on TikTok, maybe. You're right, you're right. So the question is, hmm. Hmm. 
why? Okay. I, let's say I'm repairing my credit. Let's say I, I started the credit academy. I sent my dispute letters and TransUnion decided to delete a collection that I had on my credit report, right? And then I get a notification that my score then, then went down. Why, why did my score go down? Like what's going on? If I got a collection deleted, shouldn't my score increase? What would be the reason why it would go down? But what would be the reason why it would decrease? Okay. Damn, that was too easy because all y'all got it. But the first person is Miss October on TikTok. Credit age. Credit age is the reason why your score can decrease even though you're getting derogatory items deleted. And honestly, most likely will decrease. The only time it really doesn't decrease is if you have like built credit outside of the collection. So if you are a person who just got like collections charge offs, but you, you don't have any open positive accounts, the chances are your score will decrease when you get your collections deleted because every item on your credit report has a credit age. Every item, whether it's negative or positive, everything has an age. And credit age is the third largest aspect of your credit uh, credit profile. Um, credit age is uh, 30, or I'm sorry, yeah, credit age is 30% of your credit score. I'm sorry, 15% of your credit score, child. Credit age is 15% of your credit score and it's worth up to 82.5 points. So you could absolutely be losing credit age um, and you, I'm, I'm sorry, you can, your credit score can actually decrease by losing credit age, especially if you are not getting some points when it comes to credit utilization or payment history, which is the two largest, you know, factors, right? So if that happens, if that happens, it's okay. It's typically like a, a temporary drop. If you are building credit, you'll see those points return times 10 in no time, literally. So I say all that to say when that happens or if that happens to you, that is all part of the process. That is all part of the process. Do not freak out. All right. So another question, what platform am I on? I think, I think I'm on YouTube now. Yeah. So YouTube only. YouTube only. I know. No, no, no. I'm doing each platform, y'all. I'm not forgetting about any platform. Um, so the next person on YouTube that can answer the following question will win a free membership. YouTube specifically. Tell me. Okay. Let's say you sent the letter to the credit bureaus. They investigated your item that you were disputing. And then they respond to you. So they respond to you and they send you your dispute results, right? You open a mailbox, your dispute results, and there you like, yes, what, 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 what is the, what is the, um, what happened? Did they delete it or whatever, right? You open the letter, you open the letter and you see that they did not delete the account. It's still there. How many days do you have to respond to their, or what's the suggested amount of days that I always tell you guys that you should not go past. Like you, you should make sure that you need to make sure that you respond within this amount of days for the best results. YouTube. Hold on, hold on. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I see some. Okay. Shy Ash. 15 days. 15 days. Yes. I suggest that whenever you receive a response, whenever you receive your results from the credit bureaus, you respond, you are following up within 15 business days. No, that's not a law. That's not in black and white. Based on my personal experience, that yields the best results when you respond within 15 days. So now if you have went past, you know, 15 days, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's definitely not the end of the world. Um, but it is best if you respond within 15 days. Okay. So shout out to Shy Ash on YouTube for winning. I, screen, I um, screenshot. I'll be reaching out to you. All right, so Instagram. The next person on Instagram. Damn, how many people? How many people? Do, how many people are we on? Because I'm just oh, okay. Each platform. Okay, so Instagram, Facebook, and, and TikTok has one more question. Okay, yeah. All right, so Instagram. The next person on Instagram that can answer the following question will win. The first person, I mean. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Instagram, a trick question. Let's say you applied for a credit card and you got denied for that credit card. You received the denial. What should you do next? 
What do I always say you should do after a denial on Instagram? That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Okay. Uh, seven cancer 94 screenshot. Hold on. He said, call the reconsideration line. Call the, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to y'all next TikTok. Call the reconsideration line. Congratulations, you won. That is correct. If you are denied credit, you need to immediately see if the company has, the bank has a reconsideration line. And nine times out of 10, they do. Most companies do. A reconsideration line is a kind of like back office number or that you would call to ask for a reconsideration, right? And the difference between a denial and, and a, a reconsideration is a reconsideration can potentially turn into an approval gener uh, simply because you are getting a manual review. You are typically getting a human review of your credit report. They have your credit report on file. And they're able to see if, if there's something, you know, on your credit report that you can either explain. Um, and then they're, they're able to see if they want to extend you that credit. So it's kind of like you're getting a second opinion on the same application. But I'm going to throw in a trick question on um, Instagram. How many days do you have to call that reconsideration line? I'm going to give you a bonus one. How many days do you have? Instagram. How many days? Instagram keeps, um, Instagram keeps losing connection, child. I don't even know if I'm still on. Is Instagram still up? Because my connection is bad. I, okay. Instagram, I don't know who did, who said it first because y'all was paused. Someone said seven days, three days, eight days. Nope. Okay, the first person was Ty. Uh, I screenshot your name, but I don't know. Thailand, Thailand, I think. Thailand. Um, thirty days. You have thirty days. The reason why you have thirty days is because after they, um, after your credit report has aged thirty days, then it's no longer considered current. It's not current anymore. So, in order for them to even, you know, see if you're going to be approved, they're going to have to pull your credit again. Because the credit that they have is now, the credit report that, 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 that they have is now expired. They want to see what you have going on now at this very moment. Because 30 days, anything can happen. Let's say a person um, a person filed bankruptcy within, a, well, or they, they purchased a home or they just bought a new car and it just hadn't popped up on their credit report yet. Your score can change a lot in 30 days. So a company is going to want to make sure that they are looking at your most recent or, or your current credit report so they know, you know, what, what you have going on. So if it's if if you if it's already been 30 days, it's too late. You can't you can't call them unless you want to take another inquiry. Now, um, if, if you don't mind getting another inquiry, then you know, hey, you can you can call after 30 days. But it's best to call within 30 days. So if you're denied credit, whether that's a loan, a, a credit card, what this really is for credit cards, um, call the reconsideration line. All right, so the next platform is Facebook. Facebook. The next person on Facebook that can answer the following question, excuse me, will win. Hmm. It's a lot of pressure when it comes to Facebook because I'll be, I'll be feeling like I need to make it hard. Okay. So Facebook, the question is, <laughs> I'm thinking hard as hell because I can't think of nothing. Okay. The question is, help me out on uh, Instagram. What question should I ask them? Hmm. Y'all stressed over here? <laughs> um, hmm. What is the name of the morning show that I, I, I used to do pretty much every day in the Facebook group? What's the name of my little segment that I call it? That's an easy one. That's just that's just because I love y'all. You are my <laughs> What What was the name of the little... It wasn't a podcast, but I, I you know, maybe slightly... Slightly a little podcast, a cute little podcast. Coffee and credit. Yeah, damn. Okay, uh, keeping up, keeping up with Lee. Keeping up with Lee, you want? Let me screenshot. Yes, but everyone, all of y'all got that. All of y'all got that. But that was just that was an easy one for y'all. And then so then TikTok. Hmm. The next person on TikTok that can answer this will win. Let me see. TikTok. Hmm. What should I ask TikTok? An easy one? Because, I yeah, the TikTok, I have been going a little hard on TikTok. So I'm going to give y'all an easy one. Hmm. I know my team, you child. 
Um, hmm. A scenario based one, maybe. Okay. Let's say, <laughs> let's say, hmm. okay. What are the, would y'all notice? What are the set of laws that governs or regulates collection agencies? Is that hard? I don't know why the hard questions come to my mind when I think when when I'm when I'm on TikTok. Um. Okay, that was hard, y'all. Should I do a different one? FCRA. Okay, so the first person who said that was Jess Official. Just official, just official. Congrats, you won. You, 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 you always here. I know you. Yes. Yeah, FD. She said FDCPA. Didn't I just say that? Which one? Which one did she say? Did I say it wrong? I mean, did I? Did I? No, I, I have a screenshot. Okay, yeah, I thought she said it. Yeah, okay. So then, uh, who am I on? Instagram? This y'all last one. Collection agencies, the FDCPA. FCRA is like the, the credit reporting agencies. So like the credit bureaus. FDCPA is like the collection agencies, the furnitures. Right. Okay. So wait, I'm on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's our last one, YouTube. Hmm. She got it wrong. I'm going to look back at the screenshot. If she got it wrong, I'm not going to give it to her. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Facebook is lagging. I know y'all because I'm on so many lives right now. Okay. So uh, YouTube. Thank you. The question is, Yes, it opens tomorrow. Y'all want me to open it at midnight? Should I open it at midnight? Because it opens tomorrow at noon for General Public and then for waitlist at um, 9 a.m. Should I do it at midnight? Okay, so the, the question for YouTube, I'm going to think of the question while y'all, yeah, midnight. What time? Ooh, midnight. Oof. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. Mm. For wait list. Okay, maybe, maybe. Maybe check y'all email at 12. If y'all get an email with a special link, then yeah. But y'all, my team is asleep. I can't wake them up. I'm, I'm just thinking because I'm like, hmm. Midnight. They gonna fucking kill me. They're gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> They're gonna freaking kill me. Midnight. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna promise it. Just, just if you, I'll do it as early as possible. I don't know if it's gonna be midnight because I'm, I, that's all going to be on me, child. That's all whatever, you know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's scheduled. It was scheduled for 10 a.m. Child, I don't know. So just be looking, in, checking your email, checking your email. And when y'all get the link, y'all will get it. I will say it. I'll try to make it earlier than 10 a.m. But I can't promise midnight. I'm going to try, but I can't promise. <laughs> I'm in, uh, I'm in Texas. So central, central time zone. All right, so YouTube, your question is, I'm trying to stall like hell, y'all, because I really cannot think of a question. Okay, it's just going to be an easy one. YouTube. What? Hmm. Yeah, to register, you'll, you'll receive a link. I mean, I can't say the link because it is not, I don't want it's not time yet, but the link will be in the email or obviously when it, when it gets announced, it'll be on the website. Like you'll be able to go to just my road to 750.net and you'll be able to see it. But before it launches, there's going to be a special link that you, that the waitlisters will receive. You guys will receive early access. Okay. So the question is what, how long I got it. How long does a, a, a chapter 13 bankruptcy Stay on a person's credit report. Chapter 13. Hmm. Hmm. What y'all gonna say? Before it's deleted. Before it's automatically deleted. Three years. Mm -mm, no. 
seven years. Seven years for, you know, regular derogatory accounts like collections and charge offs and also a chapter seven bankruptcy before. OK, somebody got tomorrow. Oh, I didn't. I clicked on the wrong person tomorrow. It was you. But the comments um, tomorrow, K. The answer is 10 years. Y'all, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm tripping. I didn't got myself confused. I said chapter 13 in my head. I was thinking, um, yeah, no, no, no. Chapter 13. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm OK. I, I didn't confuse my damn self. Yeah, yeah. 10 years. So chapter seven bankruptcy, it typically will, it'll, it'll last seven. 13, 10 years. Okay. Uh, yeah. I screenshot tomorrow. I already won that though. Tomorrow I already won it. So then TikTok. Yeah. I already told y'all y'all last question, right? All right. So we're, so yeah, shout out. Congratulations to all the winners. But you guys, um, I will be going live tomorrow on launch day because it does, uh, the credit Academy does officially launch tomorrow. Um, if, if you're on a wait list, you will receive the link by 10 AM tomorrow to reg to, to sign up for, for, um, credit Academy. And then if you didn't, if you, if you weren't on a wait list, then you'll still, you, you can, um, register at 12 at noon tomorrow. So do you guys have any questions before I leave? Because I we, I can still answer a few more questions. Facebook did not only get one. No. But if you're in a Facebook group, I am going to do a post. I am going to do a post. So I, I got y'all because actually I am going to do a post specifically for the credit cousins in the group. So you do have one more chance to win. I'll do two, two people, but I'll do a post. Yeah. So any, any questions? Is there a, oh, I did have to tell you guys. I mean, I already, we already um, put it on the page, but I'm not sure if you guys read it. So again, Credit Academy is $39.99 a month and that is the launch special price. So that the launch special does last 30 days, the first 30 days. And then the following month, the price is $59 for new signups. So if you are already on the $39.99 plan, you are grandfathered into that plan. So because that's our that's our launch special price. Um, if you wait in, if you wait past the 30 days, then it's $59.99. I mean, you it's you it's still worth you know way more. The value is far out, out um for far exceeds all like all of those, both both of those price points. However, the $39.99 is our launch special. You know, I always gotta do a launch special. So yes, the $39.99 is the launch special. No, your price does not change. Again, your your grand whatever price point you came in on, your grandfather didn't to that plan. No, you can't. No, mm -mm. so someone said, yeah. So you, no, no, you don't have to. If the questions doesn't only have to be about Credit Academy. If y'all have any questions, you guys can answer it. Hmm. Oh, TikTok. I do owe TikTok one more. Hmm. You're right. Okay, I do owe TikTok one more question. But I, let me see. <laughs> Desiree, you was, I'm gonna go back and confirm it. I'm gonna go back and confirm it. If I was wrong, then um, you, I'll, I'll give you one as well. But I'm gonna go back and confirm it because the comments are documented and I can uh, search them. Yeah, I will post. I will post the winners. We are. We will post, and we also will reach out to the winners of the giveaway drawing. We'll reach out to you via email, and then the people who run on either platform. I did screenshot your name, so I will inbox you from my page. Now, y'all know it's a lot of fake pages, so make sure it's my page, which is Road Two Seven Fifty Plus. If you're on Instagram, Shonda Martin Martin underscore on TikTok. Um, and yeah. So make sure it's my page because that's a lot of fake pages. They literally will clone my exact page. And it's from, from the naked eye, it literally looks like my page. So make sure my website is road to 750.net. If, if the social media is not linked on my website, I have no affiliation with it. No matter how real it looks, I never, I will never reach out to you via, um, via like your, your inbox asking you to click on the link or purchase something like I would never. Um, but the people who won, I am going to reach out to you. So make sure, cause y'all, them scammers, they didn't heard me say that and they didn't already created the page. Trust me, they be on it. So 
Um, you know what? Yeah. No, I can't say it on live because shit. Okay, so yeah, you can ask regular uh, credit card. What time is it, y'all? I was only nine twenty. Y'all, I'm gonna end the live on YouTube and then I'm gonna come back because the the rest of this we just gonna just kick it how we normally do. So I don't want the record. Should I just keep it going? The I, the recording gonna be super long though. Yeah, it's early. It's early. It's early. You're right. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna stay, but I don't want the I don't want the recording to be that long. And honestly, on Instagram, because Instagram is going to kick me off. IG is lagging. Yeah, IG is lagging. Yes. All right. So yeah, let's do just our regular credit QA. What or let me ask y'all a question. How many people here has derogatory accounts on their credit report? Collections, charge offs, maybe you filed bankruptcy, maybe you got late payments. How many people have act like have derogatories who need to repair their credit profile? Most. Okay. Me, 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 me. Okay. So is there anyone here who are only looking to rebuild their credit profile? Maybe you just don't know how to get a certain credit card that you want. And you're trying to figure out, you know, your credit report is seemingly good, but you're trying to figure out why you're not getting approved for anything. And you want to know, you know, how to properly rebuild. Is that, you're not really looking to repair more so just to build your credit profile. Okay. So I got a lot of y'all too. Cool. All right. Um, so we have everyone in here. So yeah, ask, ask whatever. Ask whatever. I got my tea. It's cold as hell now, but it's cool. I, I'm going to ask y'all TikTok. I swear, I just ain't thought of one. <laughs> I haven't thought of one yet, but I'm going to think of one. I am going to think of one. Yes. Right. Yes. Um. Yeah, limited. The launch special is, though, but obviously... After that, no, it's not. I'm still got, hold on, what? I'm still have gotten a bankruptcy off, which I'm not part of. Oh, okay, that's where you currently are. So you have a bankruptcy. You may, you, have you challenged it yet? You've challenged it. Have you started on challenge? Let me, yeah. How many people here have tried to repair their credit on their own? Like you've sent letters and maybe you've gotten some accounts deleted, you know, and but but you just don't know what to do next. How many people is that? I've started, like how many, how, how far did you get though? How far did you just send one round? Like how far in your repair process are you? Hmm. Round three, okay. What are y'all challenging? Collect. If you have collections, put one. If you have charge offs, put two. If you have a bankruptcy, put three. Or if you just, if you're just interested in cleaning your third party reports like LexisNexis, um, Check systems, all of those. If you're just looking to repair those, put a four. Okay, two, two. So a lot of people have collections. <laughs> Somebody said E, all of the above. Period. Okay, good. Okay, yes. How, how many people don't have a credit card? Do Who, who don't? I don't want to know who does. Who does? Who does not currently, like if you look at your credit report right now, who does not currently have an open revolving trade line on their credit report? A primary one. So the one that's in your name. I don't. Mm. Dang, a lot. It's a lot. It's more people on TikTok. I'm noticing it's more people on TikTok, but I'm wondering if that's because TikTok is typically like a younger crowd. Because... Yeah, because I'm noticing more me's on TikTok for sure. Okay, do I have any college students? The first college student I see comment, and you got to verify it. Don't be the parent comment. I, my son in college, no. The first college student. And what college do you go to? Mm -hmm. What college do you attend? You have, you have to prove it. Me? Okay, hold on. Who is that? Cry, Cryin85. Hold on. E DM me proof of what school you go to and what what um what year are you in? What year are you in? And what are you studying? What are you studying? Um you go to Bellevue? 
What what college did I graduate from? Who what's the who's the first person who can tell me what college I graduated from? What's my alma mater? Who know that? That's a personal question. So Shonda's college. <laughs> Somebody said Shonda's college. Uh-uh. Neek -uh. the Neek the Supreme got it. Hampton, but whoever got it's a lot of Howards in the comments. It's a lot of Howards. I went to the real HU. Let's be very clear. Oh my, it ain't even in here. Let's be very clear. I went to the real HU. <laughs> yes, Hampton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't, 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 don't do the don't do the Howard. Mm-mm. No, I'm just saying I love y'all at Howard too. Um, okay, let me see. I don't know who the first person was, y'all. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I did I swear each other? Who was the first person? Mm hmm. Okay, let me, I'm gonna take a few more questions. Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, I do got another one. You live in Hampton Roads? Yes, I just moved out of Virginia. So I now reside in Dallas. I used to live in Virginia, but I'm not from Virginia. I am from St. Louis. I'm from St. Louis, let's be clear. Born and raised, St. Louis made me and raised me literally. My entire family is well, not my entire family, but majority of my family um still resides in St. Louis. I am from the Lou. But I did live in Virginia for shit, like seven years, I think. Like seven years. Um, what's another question? Yes, Texas is huge. You from VA? Is anyone from St. Louis in here? But how would I confirm that? Hmm. But I do. I'm curious. Is is there anyone else here from St. Louis? Oh, of course. A lot of a lot of y'all. Period. Duh. Tuh. Um. Let me see. Yes. Roll to seven fifty. Yeah. If you if you still want to join the waitlist, you can. So you can receive you know the early access link. You just go to roll to seven fifty dot net slash diy. Let me put it on the screen. Road to 750.net slash DIY. That's the first link in literally all of my bios. All of my bios. Home of the Chiefs Super Bowl champs. Are you from Florissant? Yes. I'm from North. I'm from North St. Louis. North St. Louis. I pretty much stay north and west. But North Natural Bridge, Kings Highway, all of that. I literally grew up on Natural Bridge and Kings Highway, actually. Um, somebody named, no, 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 because there's too many St. Louis people in here. There's too many St. Louis people. Okay, well, look, what is, how many professional sports teams does St. Louis have? How many professional sports teams does St. Louis, Missouri Somebody said St. Louis, <laughs> St. Louis, Missouri. Shit, let me make sure I got the answer right. It's, I'm only Cardinals. In uh, the Blues. We don't have the rounds no more. Is it two? What's the third one? A lot of y'all comment three. I may be wrong. What's the third one? So, Right, the blues in the car. Yeah, y'all can't count Rams. Rams, the, we don't have a Rams. They in LA. It's two, right? Why everybody saying three? Y'all got me think I'm tripping because what other? We don't have any other team. Yeah, we lost the football. Right, so two. Child, I don't know who first <laughs> coming there because it is two. Everybody was coming three. Y'all were counting the Rams. Y'all were counting the Rams. We 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 don't have them anymore. We don't have them anymore. Neek, okay, yeah, Neek, the, yeah, I already, I actually already got a screenshot of her name tomorrow. Thank you. You're right, though. The Battlehawks? No. The, no. Mm -mm. Okay, a credit, another credit question. I don't know, I don't know. 
I'll make a post on each platform. This the last, I swear, this is the last time because I don't even know how many freaking people I done gave this way. So I'm gonna have to do the I'm gonna have to watch the playback. This is the last, this is the last thing. On each platform, I will make up a separate post, a dedicated post, and I will pick one more person. You have to comment a certain word, and then I will pick a certain person out of that. But it's on I'll wait for the video or the or the post. And it has to be on that specific post. Um, no, no, no. It's it's thirty nine ninety nine, but it will the price will increase for newcomers to fifty nine ninety nine. It's thirty nine ninety nine now. If you come in on this time, um, you are grandfathered into that price point. Blues, uh, Blues Cardinals in St. Louis City, SC. No, no. Well, who who the hell is St. Louis City, SC? I don't know them. Um, yeah, so and all well, obviously, if you sign up, you'll you'll get the details or whatever. I know I'm trying to think of a question. Okay, so the last question for TikTok is hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna list the, the winners, but the last question for TikTok is. The membership is thirty nine ninety nine a month. No contract. Once you're done repairing your credit, you can you can cancel your account. Yeah, you'll still. But okay, the question. I'm trying to think of a question. The membership starts tomorrow, two twenty two, February twenty second, two thousand three. It starts tomorrow by ten a.m. for wait listers. To the general public at noon central roll to 750.net roll to 750.net waitlisters you'll receive an email with a link yes let me see question i cannot think of no question y'all like for river i'm really having a brain freeze right now my brain stops working after nine Okay, um, if you have two late payments on your credit, if you if you relate two times on your Capital One account, your Capital One account, um, and the account is still open, what should you do to try to fix delay payments what what's a good what what's a what's a great practice or what's what's something that you can do to potentially damn yeah i got it okay it's a good will letter <laughs> a good will letter so wait okay uh who the first person the okay the first person is candy cane 1297 candy cane 1297 um good will letter one well no no one more question why why would you send them a Google letter? Why why you why you can't just challenge the account with the credit bureaus? Why wouldn't you just send a dispute letter to the credit bureaus? Somebody tell me that on any platform. Whichever one my eye sees first. Hmm. Like why? Why should you avoid challenging a late payment on a open account? <laughs> big for forgetting. No, I said, why should you? Why shouldn't you just send a dispute letter to the credit bureaus? It's still open. Okay, but I'm saying like, what will happen to that account? Can something happen to the account? No one is getting this. Hmm. Okay, well, okay, simply underscore Kaz on Instagram. She said, because the company will close it. That's true. Most likely, if you challenge anything on, if you dispute anything on an open account, the company can and usually will close the account. They, they reserve the right to as well. So if the account is open, it's always best to deal with the creditor directly. So if you have a late payment, go to them and ask them, will they grant you a goodwill adjustment? 
you'll be surprised at how often companies are willing to um, update your credit report or, or erase that late payment on your credit report based on the history that you have with them or whatever the case may be. Um, Capital One is really great with that. Like they're really reasonable. Credit One really is. Um, Navy Federal, sometimes you do have to contact them via their online portal. But yes, if you are if you have late payments on an open account, ask the creditor, will they grant you a Goodwill adjustment? We do have a lot of Goodwill. We have, I actually have a Goodwill kit in the Credit Academy letter library. A Goodwill kit. So if you do have late payments on open accounts, um, you, there, you know, we have Goodwill letters as well. And it's in the library. It's in the library in the academy. Yeah, I'm able to see Facebook comments. Yes, I'll be making a dedicated post on each platform and I'll still be doing, but it's a, a, it's a specific word that you, you'll have to comment and then I'll be doing a random comment. I'll be picking a random comment on each platform. So, yeah. I gave away, I think, like 30, probably more than 30, really. I, I think 40. I gave away 40 memberships down there tonight, probably more. I think it was at 40. I intended to only give 20, but I think about 40 people have already won a free membership. 40 people. Wow, that's a lot. 40 freaking people. Okay, 40 people. And then I'll pick one more from each platform. So it'll be like 43 people total. 40 people. <laughs> I started with 20. Yeah. Damn. So. Doo -doo -doo. Yes. Bankruptcies as well. Bank so the Academy will help you challenge anything on your credit report. Any issue that you're facing on your credit report in some form or fashion, you will be able to address that. Whether that's um, via the letter, depending on what's wrong with your credit report, the si it may not necessarily be an error on your credit report. So maybe the, the system wouldn't have the correct letter for you. But that's why we also have a library bank. And if you have a very like unique issue, the Facebook group is there. So you can be like, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. Like, what is the best? route to take i know this is not a usual thing you know so there's um it, like there's so so many ways that you know we're able to approach it and see the best way to challenge your credit report so that's the dope that's a dope thing about it and that's why i didn't want it to just be about just throwing the software or, or giving y'all another diy kit and just saying here you know so yes yes inquiries collections charge offs bankruptcies third party reports can't get approval for a credit card. Um, can't figure out why you why you are not getting approved for credit limits above fifteen hundred. Like, what's going on? What are you doing wrong? What are you missing from your credit profile that will actually benefit you? Um, what's the best route to take? And you know, you'll be learning. There'll be literal webinars and tutorials and short form videos. Instagram, like, like there, it, it's a there's no there's nothing we can't talk about when it comes to credit. There is nothing off limits when it comes to credit, when, you know, when it comes to me. When it comes to credit, you can ask me anything about credit. If I don't know the answer, I will find the answer. I will find the answer. If I don't know it, I'm going to find it. But honestly, I, I, didn't, I have dealt with so many credit reports that everything is history just consist, like just keeps repeating itself. Like there is pretty much nothing I haven't dealt with. Except like super unique situations, but like for the most part, I've seen it all. I've literally seen it all. And if I haven't seen it all, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna figure it out with you. We'll figure it out together, girl. I know they sick of me. My team's sick of me. I love them. I love them, and they love me. I hope. No. Um. Yes, the DIY kits will be updated, but we ain't here to talk about that tonight. So if you if you don't want to sign up for the membership. Um, I do still offer, and I will still offer DIY templates. You know, if you just want to take it your own route and, you know, you don't really want customized letters, you just want just typical letters that still, you know, may work, then yeah, I will still offer my DIY templates and don't get me wrong. I still will go be going live on my platforms, but the group will have like, you know, dedicated things. So I, I'll have a, a answer for all. Can you just do it for me? I'm telling you the system is so easy that listen the system is so fucking easy it's literally foolproof literally you like if you have never heard about credit if you don't even like if you don't know anything about credit come 
if you feel like you know everything about credit, you're a real estate agent, whatever, and you still just want to learn and kind of tap into the details and nitty gritty and the crevices of credit, come. It's for everybody. Literally, it's for everyone. Um, what letter do I send? A, it, hold on. What letter do I send if a debt collector company failed to validate the debt? So what do you mean failed? Did they respond to you? Did they not respond? Um, but they still sent the letter. I mean, they still sent the account to the credit bureaus. Yes. I'll be doing um like live consultations in the in the Facebook group. So because again, I'll be able to see author of your credit reports. So there, listen. It will we'll be doing a lot we'll be doing a lot yes tomorrow so if you did not win i'm sorry i'm sorry if you did not win um you still can sign up and let's say you win the giveaway tomorrow and you already signed up we can change your membership so don't worry um but yeah it you you can still sign up tomorrow it's 39.99 a month you'll repair your credit you'll rebuild your credit let me let me run over a list of what the credit i mean the credit the program comes with so for, uh, in the Credit Academy, what you will get, what you will receive for, uh, you know, with, within your membership, the $39.99 a month is you'll have, we'll have an exclusive Facebook group where we will do, where I'll do live trainings, host, host Q&As, do consultations and all of that. You will have a library of letters that you can utilize to challenge specific or unique things on your credit report. Um, or even like third party reports or just guides and, and, and things like that that you, you're able to utilize. We'll have credit building uh, training sessions and all of that. You'll also get credit monitoring, all three of your credit reports. And the main thing is you'll get access to my software, which will help you repair your credit or challenge things, challenge derogatory accounts with the credit bureaus and show you the appropriate way to challenge something. It'll scan all of your credit reports, spot any errors, give you an answer or a letter, customized letters that's tailored to your credit report on how to properly challenge that said item, how to follow up on that item. It'll have a tracker so you're able to see your progress. Um, we'll also, like I said, have webinars and all of that. So all of that comes with the membership the library will forever be growing. The webinars will never stop. You get free, um, in like you get free access to all of my webinars. So the ones that I host, um, the ones that I host down the line. Let's say I'm hosting a, a home buyer's masterclass. They're only specific, but they are there are only specific things that you won't get if you don't if you don't get free entry to anything that I have going on. You will also receive. I mean, you will also you will always receive a discount. Period. You will also receive. You will always receive. At the very least, 50% of anything else that I have going on outside of like the Credit Academy, because I'll still be, you know, hosting events and hosting, you know, different things. So but you will receive you will get either free entry or a um, discount. So, yes, all of that comes now. The launch special is $39.99 and you only have 30 days if you want to get in at that $39.99 price point. You are grandfathered in if you get in um, during the launch special. Um, because after 30 days on on March on March 22nd, the membership prices will increase to $59.99 a month. But if you already got in, then you're good. You're good. But for newcomers, um, if you don't do it within the first 30 days, it is going to be $59.99. Still be worth it. Still be well worth it. But you you don't you don't get the entry the intro price. Mm hmm. Yes, you will, Shonda. Shonda. Is it Shonda or Shonda? What are you? Tomorrow. Okay, look, y'all. Wait. Tomorrow said, can I sponsor someone for three months? Aw, tomorrow. Shout out to tomorrow. Yeah, you can. You can. But um, I, maybe we can do a live. Cause I'm, we, we, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a message you. Cause we have to work that out. But yes, I, I will work that in. Whether that's me just doing the random comment generator on the platform, we'll talk about it. So, shout out to tomorrow. Shout out to tomorrow. She'll sponsor three people. I mean, not three people. Sorry. She'll sponsor one person for three months. For three months. Great question. Someone asks, how long does it typically take one to repair their credit? So obviously, there's no set answer. It depends on what's going on on your credit report. Um, I've seen anywhere from two months to six months to a year. It don't, I don't know the average amount of time, the average amount of, I'll answer like this. The average amount of rounds that I typically see someone repair their credit, um, is I would say like maybe 
between four to six, four to six months. Um, and that just depends on how many things you have, how many creditors you're challenging, what it is, you know, the complexities of it. So it can change, but on average, I would say six to 12 months. So I guess the average between six to 12 months is nine months. So we'll just say nine months. But it depends. If you don't have much wrong, you know, it all depends. I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't say. No contract. Hell no. No contract. No. And, and to cancel, you ain't got to call and wait on hold and email. No, you can go right in your profile and you can press cancel. I, I, wanted, to, I, I wanted it to be like that for a reason. You can press cancel. You don't got to justify no. None of that. None of that. Is the price same for a spouse? Um, no, so it's per person because it's your credit report. So it'll in, it'll 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 read author of your credit reports, and then it'll also read you know the other person's. They have a separate account, and the system will have to import their credit report. So no. Who's the cameraman? Yes, I will be going live tomorrow. Of course, I'll be going live tomorrow. Um, I. Yeah, I'll be going live tomorrow for sure. Roll to 750.net. Roll to 750.net. Uh, waitlist will get early access. Y'all will get it by 10 a.m. General Republic will get it at noon tomorrow. On the lock special, yes, there's a cap. Do we have to have a Facebook account in order to sign up? No, mm -mm. you don't. You don't have to have no social media. You gotta have an email. You just have to have an email. You have to have an email, but you don't have to have a social media account. Now, the group is on Facebook, though. So, I mean, even if you want to just create like a spam Facebook account, if you don't really want to do Facebook, but you just want to make sure that you have access to the group, I would absolutely suggest that you just, you know, create like a a little spam account, and we'll, you know, verify your email. But yeah. I feel like a big part of the membership is the Facebook group. You'll be missing out on a, on a lot, you know, if you don't, you know, want to have Facebook. But you don't need Facebook, though. You don't. You don't need it. You don't need it. For sure, you don't. Yes, no. So it's it's a it's not it's not the same group as the Road to Seven Fifty group. Uh, the Road to Seven Fifty group has almost like five hundred thousand members. It's like four seventy five, four hundred seventy five thousand members. This group is going to be just for members of the academy. So it'll be you know way less people. I'm able to actually see your comments and you know all of that. So it won't be four hundred thousand. That'd be dope if it was, but child, that's no. It's a lot of people. Um, can you skip a month? You're able to, when you, when you cancel your account, it ain't like it just erases your entire profile. The, the great thing is it'll keep your profile on. So let's say you just want, you, you know, maybe you want to take a three month break. You can do that. And then you can come back and you'll still be able to see your history, but you'll all, you know, yeah, you don't get just kicked out because you want to stop. So you can pause, you can come, you know, you can do what you do. Again, it's no contract. It's no contract. Hell yeah. So someone said, does the Academy talk about building mortgage scores? Yes, it will. I mean, there's no topic that I'm not going to discuss or talk about in the Academy. It'll also be a suggestion box. So let's say, you know, there's something that I haven't touched on and you really want to know the answer to. You'll always be it'll be a, a Q&A form that you can always submit. You can submit questions in the Facebook group or there will always be a suggestion box because like, let me know what you need to learn about. You know, that's that's again, that's the benefit of that group. No extra. It ain't even taxes. Somebody says it's just thirty nine 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 no extra or down payments. It ain't. I don't even charge you taxes. I'm covering the taxes. I don't even charge. It's th literally thirty nine ninety nine. Um. So yeah, when when you sign up, you'll receive a link to the group. You know, of course, and you have you have to verify. But yeah, you'll get you'll get that after you sign up. You you'll you'll know what to do. No, it's personal credit. It's not about business credit. So let let's let's be clear. Yeah, Insta I mean, yeah, Instagram keeps freezing. So it's like I keep look every time I look, it'll it lags. See, like now it's froze. Yes, you can it'll we have letters for late payments, increase, 
collections, charge out, anything, bankruptcies, all of that. Can't wait for my email. Yes. You can still sign up for the wait list. Um, you have you have until midnight to sign up for the wait list, which is at road to 750. Dot, I mean at road to 750.net slash DIY is on the screen. You can still sign up for the wait list if you want the early link. Um, you have until midnight though, and it's about to be 10 o'clock. If you oh, someone asked a good question. What if you're in the middle of disputing? Let me tell you why. Because, you know, normally I would be like, no, you can't do it. You have to wait. So because you are factually disputing your credit report, meaning you are specifically um, um, disputing something on your credit report, you're able to submit a dispute to the credit bureaus at any time. Even if you are, even if you got other investigations open, if you haven't specifically challenged that account the same way that the system tells you to challenge it within the last 30 days, then you can still move forward. So, yeah. Do we need to unlock our reports for signing up? It shouldn't pose any issues because all of my reports are locked, but I'm still able to have credit monitoring and all that. So it shouldn't be any issues. But if the system can't, it'll like tell you, hey, you need to call or reach out to Equifax or whatever. But it, you shouldn't have any issues, if even if it's locked. I actually encourage you guys to lock them. I keep mine locked. If I'm not applying for nothing, my credit reports are locked. Yeah, Instagram is froze, y'all. They're going to kill me. Did I ever get my electric breaker fixed? No. Um, I just don't, I don't, I just don't use my heater in here anymore. No, if you cancel and come, oh, that's a yeah. So if you cancel and come back, you you don't get you get whatever price you know the academy is currently at. Yes, yes. The system will walk you through. Um, and then also um, in the group, if when you get in the group, I'll let you guys know like the schedule. Like, hey, guys, Wednesday, I'm going to do a you know, webinar or a live about this, you know, or whatever. And you're able to say, OK, I already know that I don't need to tune into this live. Maybe, you know, next week live more so is what I'm concerned about. So you so you'll know, you'll know, you will know. And then maybe I'll just have, you know, a random cute. Maybe I think the. Well, I'm not going to. You'll get the email. You'll get the email, child. Yes. Um, we will post the winners of the of the random drawing. Um, And then, yeah, I just, yeah, we'll post the winners. But it ain't going to be tonight. It's not going to be tonight. Somebody said when you get off live. It won't be tonight because, child, I'm probably going to go to bed. But we will post the winners. Um... Okay, y'all got a few. Y'all got any more questions? I'm tired, y'all. Y'all know the old lady chat. I'm tired. I got a long day tomorrow. Tomorrow is launch day. So y'all, y'all gonna be sick of seeing me tomorrow. I might go live for 24 hours. No, I'm just playing. Just playing. But um, y'all gonna be sick of seeing me. I took took my little break. I was like, let me, because I've been preparing to, because I already knew when I launched this, whew, child, that schedule is, is so I had to take me a little break. Do you need to join and purchase the report separately? No. So when it'll literally walk you through the entire, it's, it's like, it hopefully is as seamless as possible. It's not, you know, I want it to be as seamless as possible, but no, it'll, it'll, as soon as you join, trust me, you won't be, you won't have to worry about what's next. We'll let you know, this is what's next. This is, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be right there. Every, every part of the process. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get off here. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to do coffee and credit tomorrow. I'm going to do coffee and credit tomorrow, a launch day coffee and credit. Um, and we're just going to be talking, we're just going to do a Q&A, just old school, just, just a Q&A. It ain't going to be all about Credit Academy. I'm not going to just be pushing this down y'all throat like that. I'm still me. Like, I, you know, y'all know they may, I don't even like that. So we're just going to do a regular Q&A. Um, you want to sign up for the membership? It'll be available tomorrow. It'll be available tomorrow. That's crazy. This has been a long time coming. This is fucking crazy. It'll be available tomorrow. $39.99. Launch special. Sign up. Roll to 750.net. Wait listers, you will receive an email. Um, make sure y'all check y'all spam and stuff like that. Cause sometimes Gmail will like route us to the spam. So check y'all spam and all of that. 
You'll get the link by 10 a.m. tomorrow. You'll get it by 10 a.m. tomorrow, Central Time. Be checking out email though. You might get it before 10 a.m., but at the very latest, 10 a.m. tomorrow, you'll get the link. The general public is going live at, at noon. Central, central, central. If you still want to sign up for the wait list, you have an hour, I mean, two hours and four minutes to, to get on the wait list because at midnight, the wait list closes. Um, roll to 750.net slash DIY. Um, within the next 48 hours, we'll reach out uh, within the next 72 hours. I'm, I'm 72 hours. We'll reach out to all the winners. 70, I'm going to say within the next 72 hours, hopefully within the next 24, but within the next uh, 72 hours, we'll reach out to all the winners. Um, make sure you are not like, I'm not going to send you a link. So if anyone sends you a link, even if their profile looks exactly like mine, it ain't me. It's not me. Um, mm, no, I'm not going to send you a link. I'm not going to send you a link. Yeah, I'm just going to, we're going to have to do it another way because I just know there's going to be so many fake pages that's reaching out to people. Don't click any links. Don't click any links. My my social media is linked on my website, road to 750net On TikTok, I'm Shonda Martin underscore, one underscore. On um, Instagram, it's road to 750 plus. No underscrolls, no dots, none of that. Road to 750 plus. If it's not linked on road to 750.net it is not affiliated with me so please because there are so many scammers online and they are they're getting really freaking good the pages be having uh, um like eighty thousand followers i'm like yo and instagram does not take them down so yes i i will be live i will be live tomorrow i'll be live as soon as as soon as we launch i will be live yes uh no central Central. Central, yes. So, yes, I'm so tired, y'all. I'm not going to hold you. I'm tired as hell. Been up since four. So, I got to go to bed because I will be up tomorrow. I'm, 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 I got to have a lot of coffee. Coffee and credit tomorrow, y'all. Coffee and credit tomorrow. Regular Q&A, old school, how we normally do. Be, meet me there, don't beat me there. I'll be live um, tomorrow morning. I love you guys. Good night. Um, Credit Academy launches tomorrow. Tomorrow, first link in all of my bios. Roll to 750.net tomorrow. Good night. I love you guys. For the people who are joining Credit Academy, thank you. Um, I, I, you you'll be seeing a lot of me. You'll be seeing a lot of me. See you on the other side. Bye. Bye.